Hey everybody, this is Ori from OneScales. In today's video, I'm gonna cover a Shopify Plus exclusive app slash feature called Launchpad, which helps you automate and schedule certain campaigns. It's a really cool app. It's available only for Shopify Plus, and I wanna show it to you in case you guys are using Shopify Plus or consider using Shopify Plus. And it's just one of our tutorials, which we make a lot. We'll make a lot in Shopify Plus and regular Shopify. So what is Launchpad, very simply put, before we actually show you an example or two? Uh, when you have certain schedules, marketing campaigns, uh, new product campaigns, sometimes you want to automate them. You don't want someone at midnight to turn on a certain promotion or change the code or a theme at two in the morning till five in the morning. You don't want people to actually go ahead and manually do things because one, they might make mistakes. Two, they might not have to, you don't have someone to wake up in the middle of the night to do something. You can actually automate certain things, a product release, a promotion, and many, many things. So this is a feature that lets you do that automatically and also with your specific campaigns, like a marketing campaign, maybe like a big sale for Black Friday, or maybe changing to like a Halloween theme or a new functionality or a new layout for a certain amount of time, you can just do it with the system. So. Let me show you how it works. And if you have any questions, as always, let me know. We answer questions here in the comments and on social media. We'll just answer any question you have. So answer, uh, ask and then we'll answer, no problem. So uh, we have a, a demo store for Shopify Plus, which we've installed. Launchpad, all you have to do if you wanna install it and you have Shopify Plus, is just go to apps, apps.shopify.com, type in Launchpad. If you have Shopify Plus, you can install it and you can go. Very simply put, they have a system called events. When you wanna schedule some kind of scheduling or some kind of automation, you just click on create a new event. I made a few for this video to show you and I'll explain it. So before we actually show you a little bit more about this, let's create a new event and I'll show you what you can actually do and I'll give you a few examples. When you make an event, you have to have something in, in your idea for your campaign, like your marketing team wants to achieve something, maybe you have a new campaign, you're releasing a new product like a pre-sale, you're switching to some new development, some coding, you can actually do this. So what can you do here? So obviously every single campaign has a start date and has an end date right here on the bottom. Uh, so you're gonna schedule, for example, for Halloween from the week before Halloween, maybe uh, October 23rd till uh, November 1st, you actually have a certain campaign that you are going to change the website or do some functionality or some promotion. So what can you do? You can number one, do a product release. You can actually publish new products to, to specific sales channels. Okay. So you can click here and I can release a new product at midnight and maybe have some social media campaign to promote that at midnight. For example, I can click here on products and just check box the products that I want and they'll be released. Now these uh, don't turn on, they don't disable or enable a product literally. They actually associate it to a sales channel. So you need to make sure it's on, but not associated to a sales channel. And then it'll just make it live on the site by associating it to the sales channel you want based on what you've set right here. Okay, right here, you can click on manage, assign which sales channel you actually want it to go to. Okay, right there. Uh, that's the first thing. The second thing you can do is add automatic discounts. So instead of going here to the discounts right here, you can actually do it here, either to a specific collection or a product. Let's show you an example. I'm gonna click here, for example, this product right here. I can click on add and I'm actually gonna give it a discount, either a specific set price or a di uh, discounted percentage price. For example, I wanna give it 95% off. Now it's gonna be two and a half dollars instead of $50 and it'll be that discounted price on the front end, basically when people browse the catalog from this start date to this end date, okay? What else can you do? You can also do theme updates and this is kind of one of the more powerful things on the right, you can actually do themes. So if you have a new theme, which I'll show you an example in a second, you can actually make the website function differently, look differently based on switching the theme. So during the event, when the time starts, I'm gonna change it to one of my themes here, which a theme is basically your code that changes and affects layout and functionality. So when you go to themes, if I have multiple ones, and I'll show you in a second, which I made up, for example, a Halloween theme and my, li uh, my live one, I can go right here and say during this event, you know what, I'm gonna switch to Halloween and when the event is over based on the end date, just go back to whatever other theme so you can actually switch back and forth. The next one which also is very, very powerful is called scripts. 
scripts is uh, kind of an old system. In the future, it's going to actually change to functions. But really simply put, if you want to have special logic in the checkout page, which is obviously only available to Shopify Plus, you can actually create some code send your code, it'll do some logic. For example, it'll give discounts in the line items in the checkout or remove products or add a gift products or uh, change the shipping options or give discounts on things like that. So you can actually do a lot of things with a checkout based on the customer, the product, the pricing, the shipping, things like that. So you can actually make some code to enable that during the time frame, which is very, very powerful. These two are uh, the themes and the scripts are the most powerful things you can actually do because you're actually uh, changing the code. And the last one is actually change the uh, may, uh, actually turn on a password for your website. Maybe you're just pre-launching something. You can actually set a password, get some excitement on social media, and then get people to enter the password, and then they can go ahead and, you know, buy. Okay, some kind of urgency and excitement about your product. These are the things you can do. So let me show you an example or two that I actually made right here just for example. Um, so one thing uh, we did, uh, for example, is launch Halloween. Okay, so what we did, for example is we actually went here and said, you know what, I want to actually change the look and feel of the website during a certain time for just for example, you know, yesterday we did the, the preparation for this video. Uh, I want to change just for a few minutes. I want to change the theme from a white theme to a dark theme. So you can actually see it's more fitting for Halloween, for example, right? So that's one example. So I clicked on enable theme switching. I set up the time and I said, you know what? Uh, go during this time, change it to the Halloween theme, and then go back to the live one. So let me show you how that looks, and then I'll set up one for you to show you the example. So here, this is my site right here. Again, this is a demo site for our videos. Uh, there's nothing too exciting. It's a white theme, has some products we're selling, uh, and it has home, catalog, a contact, very, very simple site I set up for this video. Check out our latest promotions, some kind of promotion right here. If, and I also made another theme, which I duplicated this, and I just changed the colors. For example, if you click on preview, you'll be able to see here the, excuse me, wrong one. I'm going to go here to Halloween, click on preview, and now you'll be able to see, for example, I made everything black and I actually have a promotion just for Halloween. This is just a simple example, but I think you can understand what's going on here. Now people can browse the site, they can buy, it'll have more of a Halloween feel and it has a Halloween promotion, which I set up only that people can actually view this, can see. So how do you do this? Okay, so let's set up an event to actually change the theme of the website, the look of the website to a Halloween theme. Basically, I just made a dark theme instead of a light theme, a white theme. And I'm all, let's also promote and give 50% off to all of our shoe products or our shoe uh, collection, okay? And I want to show you how it works so you can actually see it and look at one of the reports that's inside. I'm going to click here and create an event, and I'm going to call it Halloween, Halloween plus 50% off. And I'm going to set up the time. The time right now is 4.30, Let's do 4.30, yeah, 4.40. And I'm going to actually go ahead here, create a discount, for example, for my collection shoes, and I'm going to give 50% off. And I'm actually going to specify an end date right here for 4 441. And I'm going to change the theme itself from the live dawn, which is my live white one, which I have right here, from to Halloween dawn, and then put it back to what it was. Okay, so I'm going to click here on save. And now I've set it up, it's going to start in two minutes. It's scheduled successfully. If I go here back to the events, it is scheduled and we can do it. I'm going to check back in a few seconds. Okay, so now we're about ready to start. At 4.40, it's going to start. At 4.41, it's going to stop this specific campaign or event. So if I go here to my site, uh, this is the regular site. It's the white theme. It's not a Halloween theme. Everything is normal. Uh, the promotion here, it just says, welcome, check out our latest promotions. It doesn't have a discount on my products and my shoes. It's just normal pricing. Everything is normal. Once it turns to 4.40 in this time, it's actually going to turn on this theme and I want to show you how it looks. Let's refresh and let's turn on. Okay, that's it. So now it's 440. 
the Halloween theme has started. I have a promotion. I can actually go. I can see my discounted products. Let's go ahead and order one. Let me click on buy now. Let's order one. And I want to show you how the, it looks in the reports themselves. Okay, so do this. And I'm just going to make up. This is just a test order, of course. And test credit card transaction. And I'm going to click on pay now. Once the pay now has happened, the order is uh, happening, I can go back right here. You'll be able to see that my Halloween event has started. It's actually running right now. It's active. If I click here, I can actually see that there's an event dashboard right here. Now I can, I can actually see that orders are being placed. Okay, so it takes a little time to update, but orders will start working. So if you schedule it, for example, for a day, you'll be able to see orders are happening. And that's it. And the reason why it refreshed right now is it just expired. We only set it for one minute. It's You see the order has been right here. I know orders are happening. Any questions about anything we talk about, Shopify Plus, Launchpad, or anything we're talking about in this channel, let us know. We'll be happy to help answer your questions. And we'll be making more and more videos. If you did like this video in any way, please subscribe. Please like. It means a lot to us. It helps us grow and make more videos for you guys, help you guys. Uh, much, much appreciated. Thank you.